It's wonderful to be here with all of you in this many human endeavors to bring sustenance, comfort, health, well-being to ourselves. Over a period of time, our way of producing our food, agriculture, our way of sustaining ourselves in terms of industry and uh, even our health care and of course textile to clothe ourselves. All these things over a period of time, we have made it in such a way, we can say it is definitely bordering on serious violence against everything that sustains us in this world. We are producing food in a violent way, we're living in a violent way, our transportations are violent, even our clothing has become violent. And one important thing is moving towards natural fiber. That we need to rethink how we clothe ourselves, we need to rethink how we create our homes, we need to rethink how we do our agriculture and industry. Otherwise, uh, if we just go as we're going, almost every prediction says that in about twenty-five to fifty years, it'll become very hard to live here on this planet for the future generations. This is a year which is being commemorated in India as the hundred and fiftieth birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, a true apostle of peace who, in, who inspired many movements across the world of finding peaceful solutions to very violent problems, including the civil rights movement in United States was inspired by his work. So as a tribute to him, we thought we will see what are the areas we can cover as a part of this very large-scale initiatives in India to move towards natural farming we have initiated, where millions of farmers are getting involved in this uh, coming years. My aim is uh, that when I fall dead, I would like to leave this planet at least the way our parents gave it to us. In this direction, this uh, going back to natural fiber is a very important part of it. America is important because for whatever reasons, America has acquired a leadership in the world. If you wear blue color trousers, half the world is wearing blue color trousers. If you tear it up, half the world is tearing it up. So when you have such a leadership, if you go for natural fiber, the world will go for natural fiber. We are uh, grateful and honored to have uh, Norma Kamali, Mara Hoffman, Mimi Prober, and of course our own Sabya Sachi. Sabya Sachi has, uh, has been one of the main major proponents of natural fiber. If all the designers can push towards uh, encouraging everybody to make at least fifty percent of their wardrobes into natural fiber, it'll be a great moment to start with.